you know what? We're going to go on a completely side tangent rant here, okay? We're going to go on a side tangent rant here. Side tangent, everybody. So there's this dumb thing that happens on Twitter where they're just like, well, you know, there's like application code, and that's really easy TypeScript. And then there's library code, and this should be resolved for the experts, and it just is going to be a bunch of generics and all this kind of shit and all this kind of stuff and blah, 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 blah. It's super, super duper hard and all that. I got here because this reminds me of it, okay? So just, just deal with Just watch this for a second, okay? We're going on a side. Here's my thesis, okay, is that if your application is so simple, it does not even itself contain any library code. It's just all super simple stuff. You're not writing anything interesting. Reality is, is that all apps are going to become, as time goes on, some thin layer of simplicity followed by an amalgamation of several really hard internal libraries that are very, very difficult. So if you take this this approach to the TypeScript way of doing things, you're going to have to hire actual wizards to be able to do what you're doing, okay? Because it's really, really hard. Because this is what life is. This is real applications. You know what? We're going to, you know what? I'm going to give you a second hot take. We're doing a second hot take, okay? Are you ready for my second hot take? All right, second hot take. Your application, you are building some new startup. And guess what? Your startup, you're like, you know what? We don't need unit tests because all we have is a bunch of UI and that's it. So we would never need unit tests. There's no need for unit tests. Unit tests are just not needed for applications, okay? You know what I think? I think you don't have a product that's worth anything. Here's my reason why and sit down and shut up. Now, you could put in a bunch of fake-ass unit tests and they don't count for anything, okay? They're nothing, but blah, blah, blah. We're not talking about that. We're talking about real unit tests because you can't survive without them. It's because your product doesn't actually do anything interesting. All it is is some clerk login with some chat GPT wrapper with some library that shows you VS Code. And that's all it does. It doesn't do anything, Devin. It does nothing. It's just a bunch of of rappers that mean nothing. You have no moat. You have no product. You're just a bunch of plumbing, and that's that. If you don't have something complicated enough that demands you have something to write unit tests with, guess what? You don't actually have a product. You just have connections. That's what I'm saying. I can't calm down. You can't get me to calm down. And by the way, so that's why I think comprehensive documentation is really good in libraries because libraries is actually a good place to have documentation because, uh, you know, it's, it's very important. But you also have to, like, the problem is, is when you have a library that's embedded in an application, the application and the library are changing at really fast rates, especially if you're in a monorepo. A monorepo is separated out of libraries from an application, which really just means you have a really complicated build system once you get beyond the basics of your Vite example build script. And now you're going to be working with that and your library is going to be changing so fast it's really, really difficult to be able to have proper documentation because no one's actually doing the documentation or updating it. <sighs>